This poem is uh, it's not my second favorite beverage. Um, sweet iced tea. My favorite beverage is scotch. But, um, it's called Ode to Sweet Tea. July air. Honey thick, sticky sweet. Dripping. Soaking. On the front porch, sweating glass in hand, I mentioned work, but not an exhausted plea. Mr. B talks about Jesus, but I don't have to say grace. Thanks. This is another summer poem. Um, summer is a really good time for writing for me. Um, it's the long days. I just like to uh, sit outside in the evenings and smoke and write poetry. So, lots of summer poems. Cigarettes. Left hand. Anyway, this is called Water. I sit outside on a balmy August night, a soda can beside me. A brave ant storms to the top, finding death under my thumbnail. Do ants honor their dead more than their living? They're squished more than they're disabled? I imagine the parade, a tiny coffin, mere thread for a flag, proceeding down an underground main street. He's their hero. I made him that. Thanks. This is a uh, pretty short poem. It's called Fire in the Hills. It's, um, it, was, it was inspired by the uh, wildfire that was on, the, uh, was on Turkey Mountain a couple months ago. I don't know if you guys heard about that or not. But, um, anyways, Fire in the Hills. Flames march, unstoppable, like marauders pillaging the weak, undaunted. Nights come in red tanks, standing against the wind. Thanks. All right, this poem is about um, sort of local politics a little bit. Um, a couple of years ago, when uh, Dewey Bartlett took over the mayor's office. Um, there were a lot of budget cuts. Um, because apparently, bad recessions mean no tax money. And uh, one of the things that um, the city chose to cut was a lot of the uh, rec centers at the local parks. And I live pretty close to uh, Owen Park, and I'd always go, go by the park and see all these kids there playing ball and um, they had a, like a classroom where they could get help on their homework and, but they, uh, they closed it down so now it's just an empty building. So uh, this is on the closing of the rec center at Owen Park. I sometimes pause at this wooded park briefly between work and home this eerie spring day, geese hastily surround me, expecting breaded offerings. Surely they miss the chattering children. They follow me around the modest brick structure, stopping with me as I peer through grimy windows. Surely they miss the chattering children. First, a playroom well-toyed and brightly hued. 
Then, a weight room. Barbell still holding its last load. Finally, a classroom. Dust collecting on desktops. Crayons spilled on utilitarian carpet. Surely they miss the chattering children. This one's about a uh, homeless guy that hangs out at Brookside. He's always like uh, working his way up and down the sidewalk on his bicycle. Yes. And someone knows that guy. So, um, so it's called Louis Armstrong on his bicycle. <laughs> his tires are half flat. His shoes, too. I wonder if he knows that the gas station up on 36th has free air. Press the red button to awaken the stainless steel box, its rattling mechanized growl. Add a little oil for the chain, the man to keep his orange brown rust. He mumbles, to no one really, just the crisp night air. His eyes gaze up the street, but not to see the well-lit restaurant signs. Sushi across the street, Italian next door, welcoming all with a neon cursive chow. Live jazz pours out of the Italian place onto the patio, where he now leans his bike. The smoky beat fills him. He belts out in that throaty, smooth voice. Ba ba de dee doo, ba ba de dee dum, 